for because you've scouted beautifully. I'd love to see some scouting over here. I saw that click. I saw it. Very good. Gonna be sending out this ling to scout. Wonderful. All right, we're talking about this. You have ra <laughs> I'm sorry, screaming makes my throat hurt. Roach, Ling, Baneling. And I don't even know if you can count this as Roach, Ling, Baneling because there's only like nine Banelings and like eight of them were from over here. Not really, but still. So you're going Roach, Ling. You're going Roach, Ling against Thor, Marine. Now, ro Roaches are all right against Marines. Roach actually, no, Roaches are good against Marines and Roaches are all right against Thors. Lings are awesome at, at, against Thors, but they're fucking awful against Marines, right? Everybody can agree with that. So this this is a good unit composition if you're uh, if you're playing well and you're getting some infestors out. That's fine. If you get some fungal growth off. All right, I'm gonna have to pause the game because I need to make sure I talk about unit comp as good as I can. Now look at this. If you'd had creep spread out to here, you'd have seen this way before and you'd have been able to get a sweet, sweet flank. You'd have been able to position these better. You'd have been able to pull your lings around so that they could focus on the marine, or on the Thor, you could be able to, sorry, you could be able to pull the roaches around and let the marine, the lings go on the Thors while your roaches come around and mop up these marines because you would have seen how its positioning was. But guess what, your creep spread was bad. It was bad, this third hatchery doesn't have anything on it because it was so fucking late. But anyway, this unit composition is a direct counter in the Terran's mind to Baneling Muta Ling, which is what every Zerg player goes against Marines, or Terrans, sorry. But you decided to go something different. I'm okay with that. But guess what? You want to know what the good counter is to this? You want to know what the best unit composition against this army is? <gasps> it's Baneling Mutaling. It's Baneling Mutaling. Seriously, it's Baneling Mutaling. You get like a million billion lings. Especially when you see how many Thors he's going and how few Marines he's going. You get... Mutas to constantly put on the pressure because this is a slow army. Keep them on two bases while you get third, fourth, and fifth base. And you constantly put on pressure and you harass with the mutas while this slow, terrible army can't defend that well. And then once the final push comes out, you have the creep spread out so well that your banelings and mutas, your banelings and lings get in such a awesome position that your banelings just wreck these marines as fast as they can because they're on creep they're positioned well they come up and crush shit and then your lings just mop up the thors and your mutas just don't do anything but let's watch how this is gonna play out let's just watch finally getting a queen to throw creep at the 17 minute mark and the terran has beautiful position. You shouldn't have even encountered here because he's got this wall. He's got a sweet concave that came a little late, but it doesn't matter because he just mops everything up. He has so many Thors, and your creep was just bad. Your comp was, eh. I mean, it was, it wasn't dead. Your, 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 your composition wasn't bad. The main flaws in your play were the economy. Your economy. Because, I mean, you still don't have a queen on this hatchery, even though you've had it up for three or four minutes now. You got this queen on this hatchery super insano late. You didn't get a fourth, even though we're 18 minutes in the game. I mean, there were just tons of mistakes compounded on each other that could have been so much better and could have given you the easy win over this turn. Who's, spoiler, spoiler alert, gonna shit talk at the end of the game. So, Jukus, you did tons of stuff wrong, and hopefully you'll take my constructive but harsh criticism and uh, and uh, improve your game in TVZ, or ZVT, sorry. So, make sure you get that economy up, and you're a dirty shit-talking parent. Pump, you shit-talker. <laughs> um... Get that economy going. Get get those queens out because the larvae. You just 
let's see how much larva you have here. Do you have you have three larva here? Yep. You had zero larva here, and you have three larva here. That's not good for any Zerg player ever. Period. And the only reason you don't have that much larva is because you didn't have queens or hatcheries out. You need a billion more hatcheries. All right, that's the end of this. Oops, sorry about that. <laughs> so, I'm Uber Boober. I'm a StarCraft 2 coach, sort of a newbie coach. And if you like what you've seen, have it over to our StarCraft feedback, post up a replay, and maybe I'll coach it. Subscribe to my channel, like, favorite the videos, and uh, I'll see you guys next time. Peace out!